painters uh, quite often work with the eye and the trickery of the eye, what we see, what we think we see, like, you know, the magic trick. So I grew up in Susan when landscapes, mountains, lakes was a big part of obviously what I was seeing. And I grew up by a lake. When I paint a landscape, I'm trying to find the moment where an element that is very recognizable, like a tree, a bush, a cloud, and I'm trying to find the moment when it's just switched a little bit into becoming like what we call a shape. There's always this back and forth between you paint what you see, but seeing the painting make you see things that you didn't see before. Almost like a conceptual idea of what is a landscape. Milton Avery is really a great colorist and, and a very big influence on my work. In composition and colors are probably his, his, his best kind of asset in a way. Going back maybe to Philip Gostin or Giorgio Morandi, like I think the, in the first place when he was painting his pots and different objects, he was putting almost a metaphorical aspect to them painting the outside of something, trying to make the person see what is inside. It's like the idea of the portrait. If I look at you now, I see obviously like, you know, a tiny fraction of your entire body. I don't see inside. And I see just the external thing. And that's what we see everywhere. We never see inside. And so I started to really create those uh, portraits, basically finding like, what is a portrait that will not be like uh, either a man or a woman, but more like this idea of a portrait of an ideal face, slightly transform into this kind of weird alien kind of like un unhuman kind of uh, aspect. And uh, also because of the nature of the, the pastel, it's really like makeup because it's this powder and there's all those colors. I started to very naturally put them like lipstick and eyeshadows in the beginning. And uh, so they had this like very strange, um, aspect that uh, they were like, you know, not really a man, not really a woman. Portrait is a, a very, uh, an important part of the, the, the pastel work and also the sculpture work. And what I'm trying to do with those sculptures is like really basically painted that, that surface that we see and trying to investigate what, what kind of emotion that surface is trying to tell us about what is becoming portraiture. While I was like transitioning and only making pastel and transforming my, my studio and my practice because it's a very different material to use, I started also started learning about pastel artists and pastel history to try to first of all to learn, you know, what is possible with it, but and to learn, you know, how it, how how to do it and the different ways of doing it. My biggest excitement of being in the US and in New York especially, it's to be part of this great discussion and debate and, and question and uh, problem resolving around painting. And being part of such a, a, a great dynamic community of, of artists, young artists, it's really what you want is to see people making work that are really challenging, new, and you really kind of have to go back to your studio and go, oh my God, oh my God, I need to catch up.